All right then, long answer question seven. This is money for jam. If you got this wrong, you need to give yourself a punch on the, on the nose. Because <laughs> this is just money for jam. This is the sort of thing that you go, yeah, nice easy one. Uh, having said that, you can already see, look, there you go, there's even, even anyone can do it. You just put in the numbers upside down and do a plonker. So we know that the force is equal to the spring constant times the extension, rearranging that. Delta L, the extension is force divided by spring constant. Okay, so we just put delta L equals F over K. And then the hard bit is to recognize which bit of this is a force and which bit is a extension or a, a, a spring constant. And we need the force of eight on the top and the 125 Newton meter, uh, Newtons per meter spring constant on the bottom. Two sig figs for there, so two sig figs for there, that gives us 0 0.064 meters. Two marks, it's just on a plate. Okie dokie, this, absolutely tragic for a lot of people, this question. Uh, let's talk through how this one comes about, question eight. So it says, the key word here is, is they want a scale diagram. Remember these scale diagram things are GCSE. This is GCSE physics, this question. Um, we know the original direction of travel is from left to right, because they show us an arrow. So you go on and get your, cal your, your rulers out and do this as we go through. Grab some rulers, medicine, medicine, man. Okay, we want to set a scale. When you've got a big space like this, you want a nice big scale. Okay, so the first mark was for using a scale that was bigger than one centimetre per metre. Per, per metres per second. Sorry, it was one centimetre being equal to one metre per second. It had to be bigger than that to get, this, to get the scale mark. So I, I use two just because it's, it's a handy thing. Now we know she's paddling at 3.8. So on my scale, I've made two centimetres equal to 3.8. Uh, sorry, two centimetres equal to one. So this comes out to double that, which is of course 7.6. So you want to draw a line 7.6 centimetres long. You could draw it whatever three times 3.8 is if you wanted to, but a scale, that's a nice handy scale. So we've drawn our line there. We know the effect of vectors, you add them up. So it's this way is the, for, is, the display, is the velocity vector in that direction. And then we stick onto the end of it, we add on the, the velocity of the water. And that's 1.5 meters per second. So using my scale, that becomes three centimeters. Now I want to show you this. I didn't ever count a protractor at me, on me at home. I don't own protractors at my house because I'm not, I'm not that sort of guy. But even just using, you know, this bit of this line here, and roughly go, oh, I'll make it as parallel to that as I can, and trying to get that very roughly parallel with the lines, you don't need a protractor. It's that, it's that you know, simple. So you draw your line onto there, that's three centimetres long going that way. So you've gone that way, and then that way. What is the result? Well, you basically started there and you ended up there, so this is the resultant along here with this arrow. There's an arrow head going that way, so I measure how long that is. In my case, it came out to 5.4 centimetres, which I divide by two to get 2.7. The mark scheme says, if you do it properly, it comes out to 2.6 plus or minus 0.2. So I, I would be within this, the tolerance there. All good, yeah? Um, so it should be 2.6, but you have to use uh, a scale diagram. It had to be a scale diagram, you did it with maths, okay? So it tells you there you have to use a scale diagram for that, so it's not really the answer, it's the method. All right, now the key thing here is you're going that way and then that way, all right? Good stuff. And so from that's where you started, that's where you end up, that's your resultant, yeah? Well, that's where you started, that's when you end up, so this is the result. So what was this? This is 3.8? Yeah, that's what she said there, 3.8. Okay, that's question eight.